All right, so you know what this video is going to be about because, you know, you've seen the title and stuff, whatever. I have gotten C6 Beto, and I kind of want to put her to the test and see if C6 Beto is truly a godsend. Well, I mean, it probably is. Let's be real, because Beto has always been known as a pretty decent support character, you know, because her ult is just super useful with all that, um, electro application and it's very easy to use you know it's essentially it's essentially kind of like the electro version of shin cho i would almost say um her her skill is isn't as useful but it does do some pretty good uh a damage and you know depending on how you use it, it might save you right because you know you can absorb some stuff but what does her c6 do during the duration of her ultimate it reduces the electro resistance of opponents by 15%. This is obviously good for her and other electro characters. This is our build. She's just rocking sacrificial greatsword. You know, for energy, you could also use probably Favonius. You know, Favonius might be a little better, honestly. But I don't have it leveled up, so, you know, we're just going to use sacrificial for now. But yeah, she's level 80. I don't use her enough. I'm going to be honest. I don't use her enough. I should. I really should because she's probably really good, especially, you know, having her at C6. But that's this is what this video is supposed to be about, you know, truly seeing how good her C6 is. Um, her her builds the, you know, typical emblem build um, and her talents, you know, they're not leveled up like crazy yet because, you know, I still... I've yet to fully, you know, commit to her. You know, I'm scared of commitment, guys, okay? But yeah, that's her. And, uh, of course, the team we're going to be using is, you know, the Raiden Shogun, Nahida, Bennett team. We're basically testing out damage, right? I want to see how useful that 15% uh, decrease in electro resistance is. So what we're going to do first is um, we're going to do a damage test completely without Beto. And then we're going to slot Beto in there and see how much we can do. Okay, so we're here. We're going to fight right in Shogun and uh, see how good this will be. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this. Do this. Do that. Boom. This is without Beto. 185,000. Okay. Okay, holy shit. Okay, well, we might as well just kill her. <laughs> I really forgot. I fought this boss so many times with other characters that I forgot how strong Raiden Shogun is. You know, I'm used to not one phasing like that, okay? Honestly, after we're done testing with Raiden Shogun, I might test with Kuching just to see how good her damage would be. But anyway, let's uh let's run this back and uh, see the damage difference with Beto. Dead. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know why I did it though. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but I still did it. All right, here we go. There is no escape. Gonna go boom, and with Beto, we get. Of course, I don't hit. Of course, why wouldn't I hit crit? All right. So we are about to absolutely destroy here. We're going to eat this crit food just so we can probably more, more likely hit crit. If I don't, I might just cry. Illusion shattered. Hey. The of All right, here we go. With Beto once again. Now you shall perish. Bro, how do you not crit? 74 crit rate, you should have hit crit. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. You don't hit crit again. What is wrong with you, Raiden Shogun? Do this. Please hit crit this time, dude. Please. Bro, Raiden Shogun? I'm getting sick of your shit, dude. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. Uh, she's getting camera shy, dude. Come on. All right, here we go. Please. Please, dude. I swear. 
212 K. All right. Okay, 212,000. So Ryan and Shogun does make, or Ryan and Shogun, I mean, Beto does make a difference back before all those like five different failures of hitting crit. Ryan and Shogun without Beto's electro shredding hit 185,000. That's about a 27,000 difference. That's actually, that's actually pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. Now, next character I do want to try is Kuching. We all know Kuching. She doesn't do like insane amounts of damage, but she does a decent amount of damage. And that is all that matters. So I'm gonna need to actually get an artifact set going here. Okay, so this is our Kuching build that we got going on. She is gonna need some crit food to help her you know make this showcase look good she's using r5 lion's roar and two piece noblesse and two piece thundering fury i'm not sure if this is the best artifact setup for her but you know we'll see how it does and her ult is at level eight we're gonna see how this goes all right so without without beto No crit. No crit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting tired of fighting Raiden Shogun, so it's Masanori's turn. Hello, buddy. Let's try this out. So without Beto, we hit 18,000, 18.5 thousand. Now I would have to edit the video and do like the math in, to in total of like all the hits there. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably, like, have that on the screen right now. I'm not too sure. All right, let's try this again with Beto this time. Do that. Do that. Teamwork. 33k. The difference is very noticeable. I do kind of want to see how much Beto's counter would be uh, while it's active. Twenty-seven thousand. Okay, twenty-seven thousand Okay, that's a pretty good number. You, the reason why it is, you know, because I wasn't standing in a Bennett buff at all. So it probably would have been like maybe 40 something K in a Bennett buff. So yeah, um, I think we can all agree that C6 Beto is really good. And, uh, you know, being a good support already in Dendro teams, you know, is very nice. And on top of this Electro shredding right here, you know, 15% decrease in Electro resistance is very, very good. Right? Because, like, maybe you can you can run her with, I don't know, obviously right in Shogun and Kuching, like I just showed you. Um, but uh, you can also run her along with another support, say, like, Fischl. You know, Fischl's damage would be increased as well during that um, Beto's burst. It would be very good. Um, and maybe even Cookie Shinobu, but her damage isn't really what you're focusing on. But, you know, you get the idea. You get more electro damage from electro DPSs, and uh, it's very, very good. And I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. Meow. So yeah, I think she uh, C6 is very good. You don't necessarily need her with Raiden Shogun to increase, you know, Raiden Shogun's damage at all. Uh, like I said, Beto's damage too would be increased. Everything that's happening in her burst, you know, its damage will be improved. As well as, you know, countering Beto if you want to do that. That would be good too. I'm if you just want to use Beto as the DPS, you know, that is perfectly fine. She can get up to those numbers, which actually I might want to test right now. Um, we're going to have to change this to this. Let's give us some better artifacts real quick. Let me get set up. All right, so we are at 68 crit rate and 213 crit damage. Am I still under? Nope, I'm not. I'm not under the effects of the uh, the goddamn crit rate boost. 
Okay, let's just say you did a team. If you were doing a damage Beto, I don't think having Bennett would be, you know, too optimal. Because, like, Beto isn't, like, um, a burst burst. She's, like, a more sustained burst. You know, kind of, like, she's just doing... I don't know the terminology. I'm kind of stupid. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna lie. Call me crazy. Okay? Oh, Call me crazy. But this team might unironically work. Yunjin, of course, will be boosting Beto's normal attacks and stuff. That also goes on top of what her skill already does. Once you, like, get maximum damage with her skill, so that's, like, doing a perfect parry or, like, you know, getting all the damage in it, her normal and charge attacks will be increased by 15% and her attack speed will be increased by 15%. So that'll be actually pretty interesting. Um, I also do believe... Hold on, where is it? Uh, yeah, right here. Upon being attacked, Beto's normal attacks gain an additional instance of 20% electro damage as well. Uh, that's her C4. So that goes really well. So we're basically aiming for a normal kind of attack DPS Beto here. Uh, which I think that's the only way to play her. And uh, we got Yao Yao here as a healer to, you know, do some stuff in the background as well. I think that'll be pretty decent. So, yeah, let's go. Let's, we're going to see how well this goes. We're just going to go ahead and bully Masanori again. Okay. We got that up. Hit me. No, please hit me. Please hit me. Okay, 30k. Okay, that was kind of a poor showcase. I'm not gonna lie. 22k though, without anything crocked. Really good. Alright, let's try this. Damn, I didn't really get to see. I need a character that fights me like a lot. Masanori is kind of slow, but we'll try this again. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. 32k. Oh, dude, I'm actually seeing some pretty good DPS. Uh, you, that was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. The the amount of the numbers I've seen seem pretty decent. Um, this would be hella good against multiple enemies. So I really want to find an area that just has multiple enemies. Of course, I could just go to the Spire Abyss and get up to floor 12, but I'm too lazy to do that. So let me find something. All right, I found one of these domains. It should okay. There's two guys here. I thought there was gonna be- Oh, no, nope, there's more guys. Another this works. Flag fly. Observe. Don't be scared. Share my knowledge. Break a leg. Eyes on me. Damn it. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this out. It's gotta be better. Ooh, okay, now let's try. Ooh, okay. Now, I'm gonna be honest, that's probably a shit showcase. Because let's be real, those enemies aren't hard to fight. But this team might be good. Now, Yunjin probably doesn't need to be in here, let's be honest. So 
Honestly, I'm thinking you could probably slot, um, uh, you could probably put Farina in there. Actually, that's a good idea. Farina could probably go well in there. Because Farina also can boost damage too. I would showcase her, but, you know, my Farina isn't done yet, okay? She isn't done. But, you get the idea. She would actually be pretty helpful. So, replace Yunjin with Farina, and I think you have a good, good, solid Beidou team. Because then you're doing like hyper blooms and shit. Oh, it would be so good. Oh, yeah, uh, that's Beto. I would rate Beto an S tier character. That's if you get her to C6. She's still good without C6, but at C6, she's really good, right? You know, I don't think I need to keep telling you that because you watched the video, right? Uh, at least hopefully my showcasing was good enough to make you believe that she's pretty good. Tactics, um, but yeah, she's a great character. And uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people actually use Beto. I do know people do talk about her. Um, so I don't know if I would say she's underrated or not. I'm kind of out of the loop and that kind of thing. But yeah, Beto's really good. She looks really good. I think we can all agree on that. She's a really good looking character. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content, please subscribe. Because if you didn't know, most of you guys aren't subscribed. <sighs> What the hell, man? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you subscribe, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry. Goodbye.